Hi guys, so oh. mm. well, hello again. So I feel like crap, and that's nothing new, but uh, let's see what I wanted to say. So I have real problems with my blood pressure and with my heart and Friday I have cardiologist so we'll see what happens because I can't I can't even climb the stairs anymore I mean I can walk normally when it's you know but when I climb my heart starts pounding and uh, I get chest pain and my hand I painted so I'm dirty a little bit so my hand gets numb and my fingers tips get really how do you tingly you know so Friday I have to say all that and we'll see what happens but I think I'm gonna have to have a lot of you know a lot of things to do there in the hospital for I don't know a few months probably and uh, I don't sleep at all that's the, that's one problem because uh, that's one more problem because I don't know why my problems are getting to me you know my head is full of things and I've been to psychologist he said I don't have to do anything and my heart is I had you know I told you I'm not sure if I told you but when I was little I had a murmur on my heart and we never did anything about it because we were really, you know, we were almost living on the street, so, you know, and, uh, I don't know, I think it's taking his it's toll now because I don't feel that good. And I, I do paint a bit, but I can't do it as much anymore, so we'll see about that as well. Uh, my teeth hurt I have to go to the dentist and I'm just not up to it because when they give you the injection you know to numb your gums uh, if you have high blood pressure and heart problems you can't get it so I'm not sure how am I gonna get it how, how, how is she gonna fix my cavities if I can get a shot because we don't have the thing that people in America have you know the gas and stuff but it's probably the same thing so Anyway, I've been watching some channels here and I've been just thinking about some people here how how hopeless they feel and I'm not sure if they should because even if I'm as sick as I am and I was just watching the other day the year of P.V. Tom's passing and I get all emotional, I cried and I was thinking, you know, through the year as he passed away, I've been, you know, up and down and pitying myself and doing this and doing that. But now when I look back, I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm still here, you know. I'm still here talking to you guys. So I think a lot, there's a lot that helped me. It's got to do with you guys because, you know, I don't have a lot of subscribers. But, you know, whoever watches it, I guess it really helps because this is kind of diary and when I went back to my first or second video I think a year ago I was kind of you know surprised actually a year and a half ago because the things that I said there changed over the years so that's a good thing but there are more bad things coming you know and the cancer thing will never go away because I'm just it's just you know everything is just silent now in this moment and it's good actually but I don't know there are some things that I'm not ready to talk about yet and <clears throat> we have a lot of problems with my grandma who's 94 and she's got Alzheimer's and nobody wants to take her to the hospital I mean not there is no not a hospital they want to take her that's the best way to describe 
and my father is always with her because she can't be alone because she breaks things and she she's like 50 pounds now and we don't know what to do because there's no nursing home that will take her because she's too old they say and too sick and all we can wait for her is to die and that's horrible horrible and the other thing my mom and her cancer I guess she's holding up holding up pretty well but she really got thin but she is walking you know I can't complain about it she's full of life so that's a good thing she's I, I'm kind of like her just saying things out loud that are sounding a bit depressing but inside we feel more strong than I guess people think and I'm gonna have I said some exhibitions coming up so I'll record it and oh, we'll see I I have to do a video from my studio as well for you to see a little bit more and I am painting some new paintings and this is my broken iPod that doesn't work anymore look oh you can see me so I'm kind of sorry about it because I had it for like only four years and it broke like a year after I had it the screen just just inflated and broke I, I don't know I guess it's because that's the model that was breaking as the iPhones broke I don't know what I'm talking about it's some just sorry my mind is racing and uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to great channel I like her she's called hungry fat chick and check her out not because of her mukbangs and stuff but because of her uh, uh, how emotional she is and you have to see her community tabs she's just emotional she's warm she's a beautiful person I wish her all the best I wish her to lose all the weight and to get mentally stable as well as I want that for Tammy Slayton and Amy Slayton who just struggle with their weight as well and the last video from Tammy was heartbreaking for me because I you know I can see that she just struggles and I'm sorry if you don't know who they are but I'll try to link the channels below so you can check them out and don't judge them you know just to give them a chance and I started to painting to paint a painting today so we'll see what happens but anyway I wanted to say that I'm gonna do a giveaway soon with a painting again so all that you all you guys that are interested um, just uh, wait a little bit more and uh, oh yeah a bad thing happened the professors the professor from my academy that I knew and he actually came to my exhibition once and he was one of the only ones that came to my exhibition when I had it last year passed away yesterday and I was kind of heartbroken because he was like a second mentor to me he was really nice and really emotional and he told me Thomas love just don't give up just paint whatever happens just do what you love and after sometimes the money will come and it's not about money but it's the way he said it he said it like don't give up your dreams and that's the message I want to give to those two girls that I mentioned hungry fat chick her name is Candy and Tammy Slayton don't give up I mean everything everything can be fixed you know that's that's how I see it. I know that sometimes I sound really horrible and because I am sick but you know sometimes we just need help and it's hard to ask for help and people are scared and ashamed to ask for help so I love you guys and I'm sorry I'm just kind of crying right now so oh color so I love you and talk to you later guys love you bye